I will put the proof in the pudding and show you that pudding today. Parabens? Never heard of them. Yes, 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 yes. Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. Oh my goodness. How's it going? Happy freaking new year. I'm wearing one of my favorite pairs of earrings today. These are my little can of sardine earrings. I think they are so, so funny. They look like little cans of sardines. They are from Shop Cloche, one of my favorite earring brands. I love them so much. Also, so, I don't know if you noticed, but I am, well, why would you? Because I didn't show you till now, but I'm wearing my post office shirt. Wanted to give a big shout out to the USPS because they worked so dang hard this holiday season. Thank a postal worker if you see one, you know, because they work, they work really, really hard and they don't get enough credit. But that's not what this video is about. You did not click on this video to listen to me shout out the post office, but you know what? Maybe you should have because we need to shout out the post office a little bit more. They deserve all of the shout outs. Now, you you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in an indie makeup subscription box. That's right, I'm talking about the Cheeky Beauty Box, baby. Cheeky Beauty Box was kind enough to send me this box. This is not a paid sponsorship. I am not being forced to talk about this. I am choosing to talk about this because I like it. And this is not a first impressions because when it comes to subscription boxes and something that you're gonna pay a little more money for to get a little more makeup, I didn't wanna just give you a first impressions on the product. So so I have been trying all of these products for over a week now. I think it's been over a week. Yeah, I've tried everything in here a good amount of times and I do have some thoughts. So the box is called Cheeky Beauty Box. Let me give you a little bit more information on it. The Cheeky Beauty Box is a Canadian based company. Super cool. Shout out to the pals up north. We love Canada here in my apartment. It's I, I love Canadians, great. And there's a few things I really liked about this box that made me want to try it and made me want to talk to you about it. Because if you're not new to my channel, channel, you know that I'm a little bit anti-subscription box. Not, not a lot, not a lot, but I'm a little bit anti-subscription box because I do feel like it is often a recipe to end up with a ton of makeup that you don't end up using most of, and it feels very wasteful. And you know, I just, I canceled my Ipsy subscription years ago because I was just getting so much stuff and I was only liking like one thing per box. Well, spoiler alert, I like literally everything in this box. And what I really liked about Cheeky Beauty is that you don't have to set up a subscription for every month because I know with Ipsy you could cancel a month, but how often did I remember to cancel? I never remembered to cancel. So I like that Cheeky Beauty has lots of options for you. You can do a monthly subscription, you can do a bi-monthly subscription, so you'll get a box every other month, or you can set up a six month subscription or a year subscription. And you do save some money when you set up the longer subscriptions, but for $30 a month, you get four incredible products and they're all from indie makeup brands, which if you're not new to my channel, you know I love indie makeup brands. I love to support indie brands and small businesses, so I was so excited when they reached out to me. So today I'm going to be showing you everything in the box. We're going to be chatting, we're going to be trying on some products. It's going to be a grand old good time. So if that sounds like a topic that is interesting to you and you want to hear all about this indie makeup subscription box, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching. It's coming at you right now. Okay, so like I said, I have been trying everything in this box. This is Dante First Impressions because I really wanted to make sure I actually liked everything before talking about it with you, but I'm going to treat this like an unboxing. I put everything back in the packaging. I was not trying to fool you. I just think it's fun to watch somebody open a box and see all the beautiful products. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Should I take a thumbnail? No, we'll do it after. We'll do it after. So the first thing we have here in the box, which I'm going to be trying on here for you today, is the Lady Box eyeshadow palette. Am I a lady boss? I don't know. I am a lady. Am I a boss? Uh, no. My boss has four legs and sleeps all day. So no, I wouldn't call myself a boss. I'm talking about Bert, but this is the lady boss palette. It's beautiful. Like I said, this is not my first time trying anything, so I can already tell you I'm a big fan of this palette, but I am gonna put the proof in the pudding. I will put the proof in the pudding and show you that pudding today because I'm gonna try it on. This palette does retail for $9 from Amorus Beauty. I had never heard of this brand Amorus before. I was super interested to check out more of their stuff after trying this palette because they have a very reasonable price point for very high quality products. So I definitely 
definitely recommend you check out Amore Us Beauty. I'll link everything down below and I'll obviously I'll link the box down below. You still get a higher value in the box than if you were to buy everything individually. Like the box is valued at over $100. So you're still getting a good deal. But I really like that I can go back and buy more of these palettes and it won't be super expensive. All that to say, I love a cheap eyeshadow that performs like an expensive eyeshadow and this does that. But I will be proving my pudding to you and trying it on. Okay, and then this is probably my favorite thing in the box. I am so excited to show you these. This is a five piece brush set from Cheeky Beauty. This is their first product that they've created themselves. This is by Cheeky Beauty. If you saw my 2021 goals video, I talked about one of my makeup goals for this year being to invest in some better brushes because I feel like that's really gonna up my blending game and I already feel like I've accomplished that. I have only been using these brushes since I opened them. They are so, so good. They are natural hair brushes. So, you know, I know that's not for everybody, but they, I will say they're incredibly soft. They're the first natural hair brushes I've ever used, but they feel super, super high quality. And I believe you can buy this brush set individually for like $15 if you wanted to, which is amazing. Great value, great product. I cannot wait to show you how great these perform. Okay, now moving on to the one product that I'm a little bit at on, you know, not the end of the world on it. I do, I do still like it. This is the Victoria Land Beauty Skin Loving Moisturizer. The only reason I'm a little at on it is because it is fragrance free, which I love, but it does have some essential oils in it, which my skin is so sensitive, you guys. My skin is incredibly sensitive. My skin looks at an essential oil and I break out. You know, it's, it's a that type of thing. But I will say, I really like this moisturizer for my hands. It does smell nice. It has a nice, like, citrusy smell to it, you know, from the essential oils, which is why I'm not gonna put it on my face, because I know I'm incredibly sensitive and will break out. But I love the texture of this. It's literally like butter. And I love using it on my hands, because my hands are so dry, you know, being that it's winter time, being that I'm washing my hands a whole lot extra. So I'm never upset to have a moisturizer. Here's the thing, if you're gonna give me a skincare product in a subscription box, I want it to be moisturizer, you know? Is that something I felt like with Ipsy, they would always send me like these treatment oils that would have like a bunch of stuff I couldn't use in them and I they just sat in my drawer and I eventually decluttered them, you know? So at least with a moisturizer, even if it's not something I wanna put on my face, I will always use a moisturizer on my hands and this one is really nice. And this one sinks in pretty quickly too, which is nice. It doesn't leave me feeling like super oily. It sinks in within a couple minutes, which is great. And the brand Victoria Land Beauty is so, so cool. So they donate 2% of all of their sales to the Boston Children's Hospital. Shout out to the Boston Children's Hospital. I am from Massachusetts, so I'm familiar with the Boston Children's Hospital. They do a ton of great work. And I think that's awesome that 2% of all of their sales goes to the Boston Children's Hospital. So cool, I love that so much. Also, all of their products are made without parabens, phthalates, SLS, GMOs, mineral oil or synthetic fragrances so if that's something that's important to you then that's great because none of those are in this moisturizer parabens never heard of them they're not in here and the victoria land moisturizer is a little pricey so you know it's it's 75 dollars I don't think I would purchase this on its own for $75, but in the box, I'm thrilled to have it. And all of Victoria Land's products are Leaping Bunny certified and vegan, which is great. Everything else I've talked about today, obviously the brushes aren't cruelty-free because they're made with natural hair, but the palette I talked about today is cruelty-free as well. And then our last product we had to talk about, which is the first thing I tried in the box, and I just, I knew it was a good sign. I knew the box was gonna be great after I tried the Bali Balm. Oh my gosh, you guys, this lip balm is unreal. I'm gonna put it on right now because I need to. I don't have any choice. Let me wipe off my lip gloss. <laughs> okay, so this Bali Balm is a lip balm and it has sandalwood and ginger in it and it's literally like aromatherapy in a balm. It smells so good. It gives me, like, I feel like I'm drinking like a turmeric and ginger tea when I put this on, but I'm not. But it makes me wanna be drinking it. But it gives that same like calming effect like, I feel like putting this on your lips is like drinking a nice hot cup of herbal tea. And it feels so nice, too. It's super, super hydrating. This has become my go-to lip balm since I got it. I haven't been using anything else. I've only been using this lip balm. I put it on when I wake up. I put it on before I go to bed. I love the smell. I had a feeling I was going to like this because when I was talking to one of the founders of Cheeky Beauty, she told me that this was her favorite product in the box. And, like, I get it because it smells amazing.
amazing, it feels amazing, it's a great product, and Bali Balm is both vegan and cruelty free. It's made in Bali, which contributes to the local economy in Bali, which is awesome. Also, Bali Balm is committed to supporting Bali-based organizations that are doing their part to make the world a better place. This includes Project Clean, Uluwatu, and Mount Agong Relief. I'm sorry if I said those wrong, I will put them on the screen. I'll put links so that you can check out these organizations down below. I'll have links to everything down below, but I think it's great that this product gives back to local organizations and that it supports the Bali economy. I think that's amazing. And the individual price of this lip balm is $33.99, but if you think about the fact that it's being made in Bali, it's being ethically sourced, it's going back into the Bali economy and giving money to these organizations, honestly, I think that's pretty worth it. It's also a very high quality balm. Also, it is currently on sale on Cheeky Beauty Box's website for $9.99. So for $9.99, I would 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. I don't know why there are so many 10s in that, but it's a 10. It's a 10. It's great. And I think that's good value. So that is everything in the box. Just to give you a little roundup in case you don't care to stick around and watch me try on the eyeshadow. It comes with a lip balm, which is amazing. Smells like sandalwood and ginger. I could literally eat it up, but I won't because I want to put it on my lips. And it comes with a moisturizer, which feels amazing. I'm still, it's like already sunk into my hands. My hands don't feel greasy at all anymore. The brushes, I could scream and shout all day long about because they are so great, so high quality. I can't wait to show you me using them. And the palette is great too. So in conclusion, yeah, everything in the box is great. I feel incredibly satisfied with everything in the box. And now I think we should get into the try on portion. So uh, let's put this eyeshadow palette on. Alrighty, I got you all zoomed in so we can test out this palette together here today. I'm sorry if I look washed out. I don't have any foundation on or anything yet because even though I've tried this, I couldn't really remember if it had any fallout to be honest because I always do my eyes first and I always apply my eyeshadow pretty recklessly because I know I can just wipe it off afterwards. Fallout is never a deal breaker for me, but I guess we'll see here together today if there's any fallout. But let me give you a beautiful close-up of this palette. Look at these colors. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention about the Cheeky Beauty box is that they always give you two options for an eyeshadow palette or there's two versions of the box. So for this month, you could either get this palette, the Lady Boss palette, which of course is the one I picked, but the other option they had was the Glamour Shot palette, which I'll put on the screen here, which was more of a neutral vibe and it's from the same brand, Amoras. So yeah, I like that they give you the option to pick which palette you wanted because honestly, if it came with a neutral one, I would have been a little disappointed just because you guys know me, I'm not a neutral gal, you know? So I love that they gave me the option to pick between two palettes. Okay, so this palette has seven mattes and eight shimmers in it. The black, I kind of feel like is a bit of a sequin shade, but it's like not quite, because you guys know I'm not a huge fan of sequin shades, sequin shades, and I do like this one. It's like not the most shimmery though. You know, let me swatch it for you because I'm not sure if I'll use this one today. See, it's like there's definitely some sheen to it, but it's not the most, it's not like a shimmery black, you know, so I would call this one more of a sequin shade, but it's a sequin formula that I actually like. I wore it in this eye look the other day. This eye look, I used this whole palette for, and I felt so cute, and I was wearing that color in there, and I was wearing all the pinks and the purples, and oh, it just looks so great. So I'm gonna try to create a bit of a different eye look today. So I think today I wanna dip in a little bit more to the blues, because these shades look really pretty. So I'm gonna start out with this beautiful angled Brush. The brushes themselves don't have names on the side, but this one is like kind of like an angled outer corner brush. That's how I like to use brushes like this. But I think I'll start out with this color down here. It's called Focused, kind of a beautiful, vibrant blue. And I can't wait for you to see the pigmentation on these. Oh my gosh, you know, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I opened this palette, I was like, okay, these, I don't know. The pans were a little smaller than I was expecting them to be, which I'm not mad about, because I think so often eyeshadow palette pans are way too big, but I, I don't know why I wasn't expecting them to be as pigmented as they were and then I tried them and I was like oh okay you're gonna be incredibly pigmented this is great this is great news for me look at that and this brush is so nice too oh my gosh so I think I want to try focusing this color on the outer corner a little bit here just placing that down I'll blend it out a little bit after Afterwards. This brush is so soft and nice. It feels great on the eye. I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever used scratchy brushes before. It just feels horrible. And these feel really nice and soft. 
and it's really flexible as you can see when I get into my crease like you see how it just moves with my skin I don't know I feel like these are really hooded eye friendly brushes because they're a little small you know they're not super big because I'm often intimidated by like really big eye brushes so I feel like these hug the hood of my eye really nicely and they're really soft and flexible I'm just I'm a big fan so far okay I know I used the purple one in my look the other day but you know what? I kind of blended the purple and the black together so it's okay I'm gonna use it again I'm gonna dip into this shade actually it's like a beautiful pastel purple and I'm just gonna focus that on the inner part of my eye here I'm not experiencing any fallout so far which is really exciting like I said fallout is not a deal breaker for me but if it's a deal breaker for you then the, the deal is not broken with this palette because it doesn't have any fallout so far oh, I didn't even show you this brush this brush is really nice too I really like this brush for really hugging my inner corner here I really like to get into this creasy area in the front here when I do my eye eyeshadow so this brush is perfect for that okay oh those colors look really pretty together I like that a lot cool cool okay so now I think I want to dip into the color impact which is this beautiful green shade here I love greens like this and with this color I'm gonna be going in with this beautiful brush I like this brush for putting color all over the lid I did this really pretty yellow eye look yesterday I put it on the screen it turned out really well and I used like just this brush to do that whole eye look so yeah it's I feel like it's super versatile style but I especially like it for distributing a lot of color on the lid. Still no fallout, look at that. And I'm going kind of haphazardly too. I've had a lot of coffee today so my hands are a little bit shaky and I still don't have fallout. So thanks Amorous, thanks Cheeky Beauty Box. This is working great so far. <laughs> also I didn't even realize I'm using the palette. I'm using the mirror and the palette. Who am I? I never use the mirror and the palette. I'm not a big fan of mirrors and palettes all the time because I like to have a tiny mirror that I can get really close to my face, but I like this mirror a lot. It's a really high quality mirror, which especially for the cost of this palette, the fact that this palette on its own is $9 and the shadows are performing this well and the mirror is this high quality, forget about it. You know, it's just, it's great palette. What can I say? Oh, these brushes are so nice. I could just blend for like literally hours because they feel so nice. Ah. Okay, so I think what I wanna do now is take a little bit of this purple shimmery color it's called statement and I'm gonna go over that matte purple I know this is a new thing I've been doing literally only since I got these brushes I have the confidence to do this where I put a shimmer like in this area of my eye I don't know you guys I've been liking it and I like these shimmers too because they're not like the most sparkly in the world you know but they're very pigmented for a shimmer and they add a nice amount of depth to the eye you'll be able to see once I get this colored lay down what I'm talking about. I really like the amount of shimmer in these. Maybe gonna take it out here. All right, so I hope you can see what I was trying to describe before where like they're shimmery, but they're kind of more like satiny. They're not like a sequin shade, definitely not like the black. Like you can tell there's some shimmer in them. I wish you could see the shift a little more. It's a very cloudy day outside, but I, I really like that about them because I've never had shimmers that I felt good about putting in the crease before. You know, I always feel like it's mattes in the crease, shimmers on the lid, but I like that these shimmers can go in the crease without looking like they're not supposed to be there. You know, like they're not like distractingly sparkly in the crease to the point where it looks like I just like got glitter everywhere I like that they're kind of satiny I don't know I like that about them there are also incredibly shimmery shades in here though like don't don't get confused okay so like these purple shades are a bit more of a satiny shimmery finish but this shade wonder is mm, probably one of my favorite eyeshadows I've ever tried it is so cool wait let me swatch this for you because this shade wonder looks like kind of just like a taupey gray purpley thing right it doesn't look like anything special but wait until I I rub it all around on my hand. This shade just is, look at it, look at the shift. It's literally just like, a, it's otherworldly. I don't know how to describe this shade. It is so pretty. I am gonna put some of it on my lid because I feel like this is the transformative shade in the palette, right? So you can put this shade over any of the other shades, any of the satiny shades, any of the matte shades, and it's just gonna make them look wet and beautiful. And yeah, we're gonna put some on right now. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna take the shade Wonder and I'm gonna use that same little curvy brush that I've been using for all of the shimmers so far. I really like this brush. And I'm gonna put some of that on the inner corner here, just kind of going over this whole inner portion just because I wanna make everything look wet. And then I wanna put some on the brow bone too. 
Just make it look really super wet and reflective. Yes, 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 yes. Giving me everything. I love it. Yes, the brush is good, but I don't know. Sometimes a finger just, just really does the job better. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the inner corner. Ugh, that is so beautiful. Okay, let me do the other eye real quick. Then we'll come back and we'll do a little bit more eyeshadow. All right, so here's my eyeshadow look done. Honestly, I think it's really cute like this and I would totally leave it like this if I weren't in incredibly extravagant, glamorous, dramatic person. And yeah, so I gotta go in with some graphic liner because I am the way that I am and I don't really want to change because I like wearing graphic liner. And that's kind of how I set up this look to go, you know? Like I put some color in the crease and I put some block colors on my lid. So now I'm gonna tie it all together by using this beautiful pastel shade from my Be Elegant Cosmetic Sweet Treats Pastel Liners. Love these pastel liners. They're so pretty and I feel like this color is gonna really complement the colors on my lid. So yeah, I'm gonna throw that on real quick here. Ooh, yes, okay, that did exactly what I wanted it to do. I really feel like that tied this whole look together. It looks so pretty with the colors. Okay, let me do the other eye real quick. All right, so I went ahead and finished off the rest of my eye makeup. I did add a little heart. I know I didn't show you. I'm sorry, it just happened. You know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta add little shapes to bring you a little joy. And these little hearts brought me joy. They're so cute. And I love how this eye look turned out. I Like I told you at the beginning of the video, I think this palette is great, especially for $9. I feel like this brand could replace like ColourPop for me. I'm sorry ColourPop, ColourPop, if you ever want to send me anything, I'd like, love to have it. I'd love to try it out. But I do feel like ColourPop's gotten a little pricier over the last couple years, which you know, that'll happen with inflation and whatnot. But I feel like I've found a brand that's less expensive than ColourPop and also is an indie brand and also is cheaper. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to try some more from this brand. I feel like this palette was amazing. I mean, you saw the colors are super pigmented. They blended really, really well and I love the variety of finishes. Oh my gosh, I'm now getting super distracted by this shade. So coppery and pretty and vibrant. Wow, oh my gosh, so many options for this palette. And those brushes, you guys, those brushes are seriously the best I've ever used. And I know natural hair brushes is not for everybody, but I, I do feel like, wow, I'm really noticing the difference. They are so, so soft and they made blending so easily. I feel like I'm really about to up my blending game this year. And I'm just really happy with everything in the box. But I did wanna show you one more thing before I go. I'm gonna put on some more of my Bali Balm because one, the smell is my favorite smell I've ever smelled in a balm. Oh my gosh, all balms should smell like this. But I also feel like we could do a good test together on camera to see if this is a good balm to wear under liquid lipsticks because that's something I always like to do when I wear a liquid lipstick. Even though I'm gonna be wearing a colored rain liquid lipstick today, oh, do you feel like that'll be too much? I don't care, it doesn't matter. Where am I going? Nowhere, I'm staying inside. But something I like to do when I wear a liquid lipstick is wear a balm underneath so that it feels a little more comfortable even though the colored rain formula is pretty comfortable in itself. I like to add a little bit of extra comfortability. So let's see how this balm does underneath this liquid lipstick. All right, I gave the lips a few minutes to dry and yeah, this feels so comfortable. This feels so great. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. So great to know that this can be both a lip balm for just wearing on its own and wears really nicely under liquid lipsticks. I mean, like I said, colored green liquid lipsticks are great. They already feel pretty comfortable but they definitely feel, I feel more moisturized underneath. You know, normally my lips feel kind of neutral. They don't feel super dried out, but they don't feel super moisturized. And now I feel both moisturized and I have this beautiful matte liquid lipstick on. So shout out to you, Bali Balm. I love this so much. Like I said, I literally love everything in the box. I mean, aside from the moisturizer, which I like, I wouldn't say I love, but I do really like using it on my hands. I think this Cheeky Beauty box is absolutely worth $30. I mean, the value of the box is well over $100. So even and if you don't like one thing, I still think it's super worth it, but I also think that you would like everything in this box, you know? Like I said, even with the moisturizer, I just can't put it on my face because my skin is wicked sensitive, wicked, wicked, wicked sensitive. Like I said, can't even say the word essential oil without getting a breakout. Look at that, I just got a breakout right now because I said essential oil. I'm just kidding, that was there before. But you know, my skin's extra sensitive, so if your skin is not super sensitive to essential oils, I think you would love this on your face because I love the way it feels on my hands. It feels so spectacular. And 
and I just really like this box. I 10 out of 10 would recommend it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am not somebody who is quick to recommend a subscription box because I often find them to be incredibly wasteful, but I will make an exception for this one because one, they send you four products, which I feel like is a good amount. You know, they're not sending you too much, but they're not sending you so little that you don't feel like you're getting a lot. Great variety of products too. I mean, you get an eyeshadow palette, a lip balm, a moisturizer, and a set of brushes. I feel like that's a really good variety of products. I used to hate getting subscription boxes that would give you like a bunch of lip liners. Like, I don't know. Do you ever feel like you get a box and it's just like a bunch of random stuff? They're like, here's a face mask you'll never use and a lip liner that's a color that you'll never wear and an eyeshadow palette that is not colors that you're interested in. You know, I just feel like all of the things I don't like about subscription boxes normally are not present here in this Cheeky Beauty box. I feel like Cheeky Beauty box did a great job of providing a good variety of products and it's all indie brands. I love that they've introduced me to all of these indie beauty brands I'd never heard of before. Like I said, Amore Russ, I'm definitely gonna try more from them because I really like this palette and they had so many other beautiful palettes on their website. I'm just repeating myself at this point. You guys know I love everything. I love the brushes, I love the balm, the moisturizer's fine, but everything else is great. So I definitely recommend you check out Cheeky Beauty Box. Check out their Instagram. I will link everything down below. Check out their website. They have a new box launching, I believe in a couple of weeks and I cannot wait to see what's in it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you made it to the end of the video, then you're, you're a real one. So let me just tell you how it's going with this Q&A. I plan on doing the Q&A still. I got a little overwhelmed last week with my makeup inventory. It took longer than I thought it was going to to edit, but I want to have the Q&A up, I think, on Saturday. I think Saturday is the day I'm going to put that up. So if you made it to the end and you haven't asked me a question yet, feel free to leave it down below. I will definitely answer that in my Q&A for you. And I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Cheeky Beauty Box. I love them so much. And thank you so much to Cheeky Beauty Box for sending me this box. That was super sweet of you. And I thank you for watching. Check out my description box for all of the information I mentioned today. Also, I have a bunch of Black Lives Matter resources in my description box that includes petitions to sign, places to donate, and ways to help protesters. So please click on those links if you have the time. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!